So we make a new type of telescope that solves several problems that uh, encounters astronomical amateurs. So uh, you may, <laughs> when you look into, it's not a problem if I, okay, okay. So when you look into a telescope, a standard telescope, you can go to see the planets, and it's okay, it's nice, but when you want to go to nebulas and galaxies, you will not see much. So you could buy a bigger telescope, and then you will guess a cloud, but if you really want to see uh, the pictures you expect when you look into a telescope, you need to do astrophotography. So what we did is we put astrophotography live in the telescope. So how did we do that? We have a numerical eyepiece that integrates light, uh, processes it, and displays it directly into the eyepiece. So you're looking at uh, the, the nebulae, and after uh, several hundreds of, of seconds, you get amazing images as you expect when you want to look into the telescope. So this is the, the, the main uh, advantage of our system, but as we have a digital version of the image, we also do field recognition by detecting the different stars in the field of view, and we compare to a database so we can know where you are looking at. So we do augmented reality, we add uh, data on the picture so you, so you have uh, information about the nebula you are looking at, for example. And finally, we propose that you participate to citizen science. Because we have uh, this image that is ta properly tagged with our GPS, uh, this image has a scientific value. So we are collaborating with uh, scientific labs who will launch campaigns, observation campaigns, to exploit the network of users available. In particular, if you, when there is an occultation, so uh, an asteroid that goes in front of a star, uh, the fact that you can have uh, this uh, record, a recording of this occultation with different angles, so fr with, from different points on Earth, um, allows the researchers to get more information about the asteroids. Okay, so at Unistellar we make um, the first enhanced vision telescope. It's the, it's, uh, the first telescope that solves three main, main problems of uh, amateur astronomy. The first one is that, uh, unfortunately, you don't see much even in big expensive telescopes. Uh, the, the human eye is not sensitive enough to get the colors and shapes of galaxies and nebulae. So what we do is we amplify that light through uh, the use of low light sensors. Uh, we use techniques that are close to uh, astrophotography, but we put it directly into the eyepiece. Uh, the second thing is that people tend to have a hard time recognizing the objects and uh, recognizing the sky. So what we did is we implemented um, a field recognition system. Uh, it's a software that recognizes, that compares the image that is taken by the sensor with the database and recognizes automatically what it is and can name it in the field of view. And finally, we wanted to uh, make astronomy more participative, more popular. So we're working with a, a former uh, a scientist of the UN Planetary Defense Work Group to develop a feature uh, uh, of asteroid watch and asteroid detection to contribute to asteroid um, knowledge in the solar system. And there is a technique in which we need many small instruments instead of uh, bigger telescopes. And we would like to implicate people that use our, our telescope and connect them to this uh, research.